I just want to make a little quickie video here, show everybody just how big Doc Rogers Field is. The place where I'm camping is just a little offshoot of it. You can't, you can, if you look real close, you can see a car go by out there a little bit ago. If you look real close, you can also see the front of the nitro buggy out there. Okay, let's give you a little perspective here. That's the nitro buggy out there. From the nitro buggy out to the road is about 200 yards, okay? Now let's bring it back and do a little pan here and show you. This is where that bucket line dredge cleaned this valley out of the big stuff. That's why it's hard pressed to find nuggets at Doc Rogers Field. But if you look all the way up here, there's the end end sign. We did a video of a little while back just yesterday, or day before yesterday actually, on uh, Wednesday. But up through the woods there, you can see Doc Rogers Field goes a long ways up through there. And we're going to break down over a path. And then when you look again, up around the corner, here's what's amazing. Okay, it's as long as that, all the way to the road, all the way back up here, times two. If you go from right there to the road, back that way, to the, back that way, it's about 400 yards, maybe five, almost 500 yards. Maybe 500. If you go this way, you can see another three, 300 yards. A little better than 300 if you step down on the field there. But then there's a corner, and when you go around the corner, it's this big again with a whole lot more. It just goes on and on and on as a field in the very bottom of this stream, of this valley here. And this whole thing was bucket line dredged in 1910. So, what we're getting out of here is probably the tailings, what they let go. And it's some really chunky flakes, man. I'm serious. It's some really good gold. If you find yourself in Coker Creek, Tennessee, or anywhere close, you want to get good gold, stop at Bill's Pit Stop and ask him. Tell him Oro sent you from KDCL Media, and he'll give you a little treat. More later. It's Saturday morning. World Expedition's 13, and we woke up to a rainbow in camp. Look at that. Coffee's brewing. Company showed up in the middle of the night last night. That's Michael and Melissa. But that's really wild. It hasn't rained yet, but there's a rainbow. Pretty cool. I would say that maybe is a bad sign today. The rain is coming. It, we're probably going to be moving camp today off out of the National Forest. So, getting ready for that. More later. Hey, it's Monday again on Oro Expedition 13. If I'm not mistaken, this is the third Monday, or fourth Monday, which is it? See, we left on a Sunday, so uh, this will be third Monday, yep. And uh, we're looking at this maybe as a possible driveway someday. What do you think? It's a little logging road. Goes all around, comes out up there, and then ends up way back up in the woods there. This was all logged real hard. But what's really cool about this, see these briars with the pretty white flowers? That's blackberry bushes. And this area is loaded. I'm talking, you can come up here and probably pick a coffee can, the old coffee can's full. Wouldn't take you long. The only problem was it being a driveway. Gotta do a little bit of road repairs, you see. Been a long time since anybody drove up this road, I believe. Actually, now somebody with a fairly high sitting vehicle has been riding up and down through here. Just right on the ruts. Got some old tire tracks. Probably early, earlier this spring. Got us a lot of survey tape like that. And another thing that's really cool this old bumblebee 
is showing me the huckleberry bushes. We got huckleberry in here. I don't think he likes me standing beside these huckleberry bushes. This is all laid out. Huckleberry bushes, blackberry bushes. If I'm here in about late July or early August, there's gonna be a lot of berry picking going on. As you can see, the weather's trying to break away and be pretty, but it just keeps rolling in from the southwest. But uh, I just wanted to get a video, a little video of this rut down through the middle of this road because it's solid clay underneath. It's pretty wild. And today, because we're out exploring again on Monday, kind of like last Monday, because it's turned into the rainy season here in East Tennessee. The weather patterns are really crazy. And it just keeps raining every weekend, every weekend. Another rain, more rain. This ditch is really cool. Solid red clay or orange clay in the bottom. Looks like terracotta. It's so orange. It probably is the same clay they make terracotta from. And there's a bunch of it. Also, know you wouldn't want to get stuck down in that one. So we got just a few minutes of video here till we get it dumped. This is gonna be the last one before the dump this evening. Try to get these videos off here, we got a bunch. But we're at the GPAA claim, Coker Creek. And these guys right here next to me in the tent. I'm over behind the trees there. We can't see my uh, expedition tent, but uh, they're just downstream working. And I just wanna let you know, there's a couple really nice guys and we're gonna be getting them on video and hopefully we'll be able to get them on the air. Uh, Tuesday night because they're gonna be here more later